One person who has been leading the green infrastructure transformation in Grand Rapids is Mayor George Hartwell, and he joins us now. Mayor Hartwell, thanks so much for joining us. Well, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me, Christy. We have a great backdrop here. We've got the Grand River right behind ah. us. And how really has the restoration of the river figured into the revitalization and the growth of Grand Rapids? Sure, sure. Well, let's, let's step back. Um, more than two decades uh, when in our most shameful year in Grand Rapids uh, we contributed 12 billion gallons of sewage uh, to the Grand River. 12 billion ga gallons of sewage and combined sewer, sewer overflows. Uh, with, a, with a little bit of uh, encouragement from the EPA, uh, we set out to solve that problem. Uh, we will, uh, at the end of next construction season, 2016, we will have completed the separation of the sewers. That means that the water quality of the Grand River is, is, is now excellent. Uh, you'll see out there today uh, 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 salmon fishermen, the early uh, coho salmon run is, uh, is already mm -hmm. in and they're catching salmon. Other, they're taking them home and eating them. You would not see. want to do that in a 12 billion gallon year, I can tell you that. Well, let me see this. You know, Grand Rapids was named the nation's most sustainable city in 2010. You were awarded the Climate Protection Award in 2012 by the U.S. Conference of Mayors. How do you explain to other city leaders, maybe around the Great Lakes Basin, that investing in a blue economy does bring that financial reward to a city? Well, I mean, uh, the proof is, is, uh, is, is in looking at the city today and, and comparing where we were 10 years ago. Uh, uh, we have focused on sustainability, on a, on a balanced triple bottom line, looking at environmental benefits, uh, human uh, social equity benefits and, and economic benefits. And, and, and it, I think if you keep that focus on that triple bottom line, um, uh, any city can and, and every city simply must these days uh, move towards sustainability. For us, the, the environment, especially this amazing river uh, that's, uh, that's flowing behind us, the Grand River, uh, has been, a, uh, has been not, not only a, a, a a, a target, if you will, or a source for our work, but has been an inspiration and a motivator for us. So what are, I guess, the biggest questions if someone calls you up and says, Mayor Hartwell, so tell me how you guys are doing this here. What do you tell them? And what are the biggest questions that you're getting from other leaders and municipalities around the area? Sure. Well, it's, it's always, what are the challenges? You know, what, what did you have to overcome? Uh, and, and part of it is inertia. Uh, just, just within an organization, a municipal organization especially, there's inertia. You've got to get that organization moving. Is part of it financial as well? Well, part of it is financial, and and but but even and, and this is what I encourage other other mayors. Uh, uh, even even during the most difficult of times, the most uh, 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 um, uh, uh, economically stringent times, there are always things you can do. There's always low-hanging fruit to pick off and begin doing that work. You got some news this week. A study came out and said if you start to restore the rapids and some of the work that's been going on here, the economic return could be somewhere 15 to 19 million dollars annually. What was your reaction to that study? Well, it's a it's a very encouraging number. Obviously, uh, we're we're setting out to uh, remove the dams, six dams from the Grand River through downtown. We'll have a uh, next next time. Hopefully, that you and I sit here and mm -hmm. talk. We're going to see a, a rushing. Uh, uh, and roaring uh, 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 rapids through downtown, um, but but that 15 to 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 19 uh, uh, million dollars per year is only the direct benefit from uh, tourism uh, dollars in our hotels, our restaurants, uh, retail operations. What, what, the, what the study didn't do was look at the economic uh, development impact along the river. There are uh, large undeveloped areas that have great potential once this river is a, a, again a magnet. And we look forward to seeing uh, the work that you're going to be doing in the next couple of years. You'll keep us posted on that, it's right? It's going to be fun. We'll look forward to having you back, Christy. <laughs> Mayor George Hartwell from Grand Rapids, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.